Yeah. It's nasty. How you feel about it? <laughs> it's a karate! This is what dirty, nasty, this water looks like. So we're with Andy Bailey, who's going to tell us where we're at on the construction so far of the bus. Okay, right now we've started fabrication on one side of the bus to either house the AC mini split compressor or the generator. Um, we've started metal fabrication, cut a section out of the bus. We will come up from this about 15 or 16 inches to enclose either the compressor or the generator we will build an enclosure and then from that point up to the top will be about a 46 inch high five foot wide storage cabinet above either the AC or the generator. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side of the bus where we will cut out and fabricate to house either the generator or the AC compressor. What we're going to do here is we're going to come up with a box and we will have it probably about 36 inches high, which is your standard sink height. We'll have a countertop, mount a sink above either the AC or the generator, and we will have a water tank with an RV pump to allow water access in the bus. That countertop will be approximately, probably, let's see, I think our countertop will probably have somewhere around two foot to 30 inches of countertop space and it'll be about five foot wide. We can even put a border along the top to how, make it where nothing would roll off and we could store some, some stuff on top of the cabinet space and the countertop. So those are the plans so far. We've started some fabrication. We've made a metal order that we will pick up Tuesday to be able to finish fabrication. That kind of slowed us down. We had to make a metal order to decide what kind of metal we wanted to use to fabricate with. And so we'll pick that up on Tuesday and we'll continue fabrication next week. Awesome, thanks. <laughs>
grinding rivets off where we can pull this skin off, cut this skin off, and then cut the inside out like we did on the other side. This insulation is called rock wool insulation. It's very dense insulation. It's really very, very good insulation. Does it have fiberglass in it like other, like your home insulation? I think it does. Here, roll around in it and let me know. No, I don't want to roll around in it. Thanks so much. I appreciate that offer. Do I
uh, support box for the generator. The generator weighs a little over 500 pounds. And, uh, and so we want to make sure that it's got plenty of support and that uh, it doesn't go anywhere. So uh, we've tied into everything on the body, all the support brackets that are on the, that are part of the body, we tied in with this piece of two inch quarter by quarter inch angle at the top. We banded it all the way around, so we're, we're capturing all of the body strength. And then we've uh, brought it around with a piece of two inch tube uh, that's attached to the outside of the body, running all the way across behind my back. And, um, and then we just tied in these brackets that are gonna tie in here to the, to the main support, coming down to give it more support in the front. And these brackets here that come down also tied into the frame, giving a lot of support back to the frame, and then coming all the way out with a piece of six inch channel. This is what the generator will sit on top of. It'll be bolted through this channel uh, in eight places uh, on the bottom. So shouldn't go anywhere at all. And we've done the same thing on this side as well. Support coming down. We're tied into the frame. We'll weld this bracket in to where it's connected to the frame and connected to all the support uh, joist across the top as well. So should be in good shape. Awesome. It didn't go back up. I've got it kind of set up where there's a little bit of room on the end. It does need to go down a little bit more. These right here should bowl through that channel right there. But the thing that I was concerned about is the exhaust that we got. We kind of missed it.
fabrication has begun on the box and enclosure for the condensing unit on the AC. So there has been a panel cut out of the side of the bus. There has been flooring that has been cut back. We've been reinforcing around the flooring. There will be a cage built and fabricated to house the condensing unit. And then we'll build a box on the inside. This gives you an idea of the side panel that was cut out, flooring and side panel that was cut out of the bus right there. This is the condensing unit that will be going in for the AC and heating. These are the mini splits, one in the front and one in the back, and those two smaller boxes right there that will go in. Just wanted to give you an idea of what was going on. We're going to put it on the other side of the toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> 